Also happening today, Indie Pagan Pride Day. It's a free event where you can watch and join in on pagan rituals, games, music, dancing, and drumming. News 8's Angelie Cockaday joins us live from the Marion County Fairgrounds. What have you found, Angelie? Hey, good morning, Brenda. Well, the festival kicks off here at 10 a.m., but before it does, we've got Megan over here from Indy uh, uh, Pagan Pride going to show us a ritual. Now, Tom, explain to us what this, what is happening here. What is she doing? So what she's doing is she's invoking the elements to ask for a circle of protection around the event, okay. and then she's asking for the Lord and Lady or God and Goddess mm -hmm. to bless our event to make it so that we've had a bountiful day, everybody is safe, everybody has a lot of fun, wow. everybody goes home tired, <laughs> exhausted, and just all kinds of happy. So it's a blessing for a good day. Absolutely. And I see a lot of artifacts on the table here. Is there like, you know, do, do, in paganism, are the rituals, is there like one thing that the rituals need? So the rituals need focus and intent. All the other things are symbols, as long as you have the intent in your head, but the symbols help you focus. And like we have pieces of rock and earth, we have pieces of air, we have pieces of the earth, okay. and we have representations of fire. We have the god and the goddess. Okay. And that way, and that way we have everybody there. Sure. We can focus on who it is we're asking for help from. Um, and it's a reaching out sure, and an asking for blessing. Okay. Yeah. Well, a lot of people think of magic when they think of Halloween. Right. Is that a myth or where does that come from? So Halloween and magic, it's because it's spooky. It's mm -hmm. because it's getting cold. Everybody is afraid of the dark. Yeah. Over the centuries, there's been so many things. And I mean, so Halloween actually came out of a holiday called Samhain, which is a celebration of um, the line between us and those who have passed being the thinnest and we can reach out to them and tell them how much we love them and they can send messages back oh. and it's a very ancestor worship oriented group as well sure well interesting well megan you're going to conclude the blessing with you're going to light the candle here for us and we're going to feel all the positive energy <laughs> And we forgot the lighter. Oh, you don't have the light. No candle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, the well, come Sorry. come check it out. Come check it out today to see. We'll that in a minute. Yes, to see how uh, the blessing all turns out. But like, we can feel the positive vibes already from here. The festival opens at uh, 10 a.m. and it's free with a canned donation. Brenna, back to you. What a sight to see, Angelie. Thanks so much. We'll check back in about an hour.